Okay, so this is, uh, I just wanted to post a review to share a little bit about the new picks I just got. I ordered two sets from, not two sets, I'm sorry, I ordered a set and a couple of spare picks from HL Flake. Uh, they're both HPC. This, uh, what I'm showing you right now, this is the Tiro or Tyro set, and it comes in this case right here. Um, they're all spring steel and three of them have metal handles. These that I'm showing right now have no handles. And the tension wrenches, spring steel as well. So they, uh, honestly, they look fairly nice and as a beginner set, I would say maybe this is a nice place to start. There are some duplicates that I have <clears throat> personally never understood uh, why there would be so many duplicates other than to make more money. Um, I don't know how many half diamonds you could possibly need, but there are three count them three in this set. Uh, as far as the thickness and the width and the feel, well that's something a little bit different. Now I'll get to that in a second, but I also wanted to show you I ordered two of the 2000 series stainless steel HPC picks and you can see um, similar to the uh, the handled picks in the Tiro set, I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, they have uh, riveted handles. So, excuse my fumbling with the camera here. I'm not a, uh, a photographer. I'm not particularly good at focusing this thing. So while I play around with it for a second, I was getting these in uh, fairly good focus a second ago. But anyway, I just wanted to show you, I got a hook and a, I believe that's called a snake rake. Could be wrong about that. So the reason that I wanted to post a little bit of a comparison was because these are supposed to be designed for restrictive keyways, at least that's what it says on the box, and um, I'd like to compare them for a moment to my Southern picks and a couple of Peterson picks. So the thickness, let me see if I can set the camera down here and figure out if we can get this into focus. So the main thing that I'm focusing on here is the thickness this way. Okay, so let me move some of the stuff in the background here. Okay. So, here is an HPC, and then here is the Southern Slim Hook. I'm going to kind of put them together and you can get an idea, I hope, of the thickness of one compared to the other. You'll notice the HPC is in fact slightly less thick. However, take a look at the width of this. There's the HPC, there's the Southern Slimline. Now I've always found that the most restrictive thing in a, in a especially a paracentric keyway has not been the actual thickness of the pick, but rather the width of this part of the pick. I'm not sure exactly what the name of this part is. And look at how thick that is. I mean, that's enormous. For comparison, I had complained a little bit when I got my Peterson gem. And you'll notice that this is even worse. Okay, so not particularly impressed with the HPCs in that regard. Now again, of the three different uh, types, the HPC <clears throat> the Southern and the Peterson. Certainly, hopefully you can see uh, the Peterson is quite a bit thinner than the other two. Okay. So anyway, oh and also the HPC, the hook, it's the only hook that comes with the PIP 2000 set and that was the reason I ordered these. Um, these stainless steel picks was because I was considering getting the PIP 2000 set. But look at how deep the hook is. I honestly I would have to buy an extra hook and uh, grind it down, I think. So, anyway, if that's your only hook, I would say that's probably not quite as useful. So, other than that, uh, again, just for comparison, here's the Southern Standard hook. Here's the HPC, supposedly slim hook. Okay, quite a bit more width on the pick there. 
And as far as the thickness, yes, the HPC is thinner. I believe, if I remember reading it, that the Southerd was 0 0.025 inches thick, and then these HPCs are 0 0.02 inches thick. Okay, so as far as the spot welding versus the rivets to keep the handle on, I don't know that one is better than the other. I, I have read that as they wear out, the rivets can become loose. I think uh, depending on how long that takes or just how much wear they'd withstand, I don't know that it would be worth drilling these out and re, uh, replacing the rivets. I mean, it's a $4 pick. So, But I would hope that that would be the type of thing you wouldn't have to worry about for quite a long time. So anyway, the, um, the case itself, it's, uh, it's a nice enough case. Uh, it's lined with what seems to be velvet, which I think is a bit kind of cheesy. I don't know why you would line your case with velvet. Um, <clears throat> but other than that, very nice construction. A little less rough around the edges than the southern case of a similar style. You can see here that the leather isn't, uh, isn't hemmed at the edges the way the HPC case is, but who the hell cares, right? It's a case to hold your picks. It's not, uh, you know, nothing fancier than that. So, once again, just to bring us back, we've got the two that I ordered separately, and then this set, which, to be honest with you, I'm not going to comment on the, you know, just how finished or nicely polished everything looks, because to be honest, the HBCs really weren't all that impressive in that sense either. I don't think it's going to show up on camera, but they're quite rough looking. And then, the one other thing I wanted to say, uh, I really never understood why everyone kept advising new people to wet sand their picks when they got them. I was used to getting the southern picks, and really they're quite smooth. Quite nicely finished. You can run your thumbnail along that and it won't hang up at all. Then I got these and uh, I mean these are extremely rough and uh, the edges are the corners are quite sharp. I, I really I think you could on it you could cut yourself with this if you wanted to. So that's something else I didn't particularly love about this set. Now the Tiro set itself I think is kind of nice. For the price, I think it's maybe a fantastic beginner set. If you just added, um, maybe, if you went ahead and added a southern slim line, uh, Euro slimline hook to it, I think this would make a, you know, a not I wouldn't even want to say beginner set, a set that you could use for quite a long time until you got into some more advanced stuff, which I haven't yet either. So, um, not in love with these picks that you can see. Uh, I'll set this down and take a look. You can see these don't have any handles. Sorry, I'm working from behind the camera here. Alright, they don't have any handles, which I think uh, might get fairly uncomfortable. But, and again, I don't, I don't understand, you know, maybe as a spare or a backup or something. Sure. Okay. But notice also that the, uh, the hook here, that's about the hook I would want in a set if I only had one hook. Um, the stain, the 2000 series hook, again, a bit deep for my taste, especially if that's your only one. Uh, and again, here's the duplicate with the handle. Okay, and then finally you have a key extractor, which if you're like me and you're not actually a locksmith, you're just a hobbyist, this is basically useless. So, thanks for the key extractor. I don't think I'll ever be using it. You have this uh, duplicate, which is a larger half diamond and what looks like a Bogota rake. So, maybe that'll come in handy. No handle on it, but hey, you know, maybe this will prove useful at some point in a pinch. Uh, the tension wrenches are just basically what you'd expect. I mean, what can you say about tension wrenches, right? Um, this one's a bit longer, so I'm assuming you could cut it down if you needed to. Maybe make another one out of this. I've been finding that in some of the Y1 keyways, uh, nothing really seems to work. So I was thinking of maybe um, cutting down the edges of one of these and making a very small bend in it. 